Hey guys, it's me, Goodwill Hunter, and I'm back with a uh, response to Retro Rewinder's uh, last video that he just posted. It's uh, morales in video game hunting, or morals in video game hunting. Um, I thought that he, he actually asked a kind of a valid question, and I think a lot of us um, maybe practice or, or just have a different moral compass when it comes to video game collecting, whether it be uh, garage sailing or thrift stores or... Um, uh, eBay. I mean, a a anywhere and everywhere you look as far as when it comes to collecting, I think everyone's trying to get a good deal. Of the, the garage sales where, you know, someone asks for a certain amount and you try to, you know, nickel and dime them down to pretty much nothing. Um, the uh, Nintendo, or Club Nintendo uh, vouchers at GameStop and uh, also um, possibly uh, changing stickers. <laughs> at uh, the Goodwill. Now, personally, I think if, if you've watched my channel for a, a, a little bit, you'll know that I do practice the whole sticker swapping at Goodwill. And uh, I do uh, take the vouchers from GameStop. Um, and as far as garage selling goes, um, I do like to try to get a good deal. Now, I won't blatantly rip someone off, but I, I'll explain. Let's first go to Goodwill, all right? Now, some people say it is a nonprofit. Some people say it's not a nonprofit. I believe that it is a nonprofit organization. I believe they do file, um, like uh, JCAU 99, uh, the 501C, which I think is their tax break for nonprofit organizations. Um, I have been collecting and frequenting Goodwills throughout New England, now down here in the South. I don't know how it is out. Um, in the California, Midwest, um, Texas area. Um, I've got a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to Goodwills. Um, especially when it comes to them blatantly putting out merchandise they know is defective and yet people will still buy it. Um, I have fallen victim to doing that and that's maybe my own fault for not testing it, but still if you, if, if them as a, a, as a company receives a product, uh, even whether it be a donation or not, um, and either doesn't want to test it or knows that it's defective and st still sells it with an as-is sticker on it, um, that to me is kind of deceiving as far as their return policy. There is none on electronics. So um, do I feel bad that they get a donation of a product uh, and then try to get a, and that's not a profit um, at the end of the year because they um, donate or um, close their books with a zero balance, um, that's what I, I believe. And um, so, as yeah, so they get something in, they sell it for whatever, and then use that to pay for um, community services, paying employees. Um, if I get it for a discounted price, I mean, I get a discounted price on Thursdays for my veteran status. Now, would I like to have that Monday through Sunday? Yeah, but uh, fortunately, if I see something, I know it's not going to be there and I really want it, I, I will switch the stickers. I haven't been doing it as much and I don't condone doing it. It is it is fraud. You are deceiving them. And it's not really because you're actually paying for it. But anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent on the Goodwills. I, I just, I hate them uh, pretty much with a passion. So I don't see anything wrong with doing it. I, I know it is wrong and I don't condone it. And that's just why my moral compass is completely jacked up. Moving on to GameStop, though. Uh, the Club Nintendo vouchers that they do have in the pre-owned games, um, most of the time, I'll tell you right off the bat, uh, where is it? Right back there, I don't know if you can see it, that's my Nintendo, my Club Nintendo Game & Watch, the reproduction um, that I got um, because I had enough uh, coins to go and purchase it. Now, it took me about two to three weeks of going to about seven to eight different game stops and taking all the vouchers, which again, I don't condone, but again, as I say, my moral compass is pretty jacked up. Um, but here is my justification, and this is why I do it, and maybe you do or do not. Out of all the ones that I have taken the vouchers out of, they're all pre-owned games, and they were not used. Now, again, I think uh, Retro Rewinder Trevor, um, put it best where he said that, you know, if even the original owner didn't use the voucher, what does that tell you? That just says that if they weren't willing to do it and to redeem it, then, um, uh, you know, I know passing it on to the next person 
would be a nice added um, bonus, but come on. Do you honestly think that all of the, the new games, the new generation, like the Xbox 360, PlayStation uh, 3, DLC codes for things like friggin' Resident Evil 6 uh, Ultimate Edition, which had like Resident Evil uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, I think it had 4, all the downloadable codes for it, those weren't still valid. Um, Batman Arkham City. Those weren't valid. I mean, you could go down the list. Uncharted, just any game that had DLC. Do you think it's fair that if you buy it pre-owned that you should actually, you know, that you should get that DLC code? Because, I mean, I, I just don't see the justification that if the previous owner didn't use it, which I think that should be their own right, is that if they originally owned it, they should have the, the right to redeem it. Now, that doesn't happen. People don't use it. People don't care about the DLC. So, I just don't see a problem with taking it because I'll use it. I'll, I am a consumer and I will use it. Um, also, I don't condone what GameStop does as far as some of their shadier sales practices, as far as the whole Xeno Gears, I'm um, not sorry, uh, the um, Xenoblade Chronicles. I, I just, that to me just sunk to a new low. I mean, come on, guys. You get us going to reproduce or supposedly find them in the warehouse, and, and what do you know? They have Nintendo Club uh, vouchers inside of them. I'm pretty sure they could just friggin' sit there and just print Nintendo vouchers. Friggin', they just put them inside. I'm sure they have extra vouchers or print them or somehow, because every single pre owned game I find from Nintendo has a voucher that's still valid. So, my guess is they're probably still printing them. Um, and I, I just. It doesn't bother me. I sleep well at night. Um, GameStop has just dicked a lot of people, a lot of game developers. The the whole, you know, the whole sales practice of buying the pre-owned game only because it's five dollars less than the brand new game, where none of the game developers, producers, and uh, marketing people get any cut of that money whatsoever. So I I, I don't see a problem with it. Um, and lastly, garage sales. See, I don't have too much experience with the garage sales, but um, I, I, I can go along with the fact that if someone's willing to only ask for five to ten dollars for maybe a system or a couple bucks per game, and I can bundle them and get them still for what they're asking, then I'll, I'll pay that. I don't have a problem with that. If they're asking like a hundred dollars for a Nintendo Wii and like three sports games, I'm sorry. There's no way in hell that's ever going to happen. If you're going to actually ask for $100 at a garage sale, there's something wrong. Because either A, you know what you have, so you've already priced it out. Uh, B, it's not the venue for that kind of a sale. People don't show up to a garage sale, at least in my experience and what I've seen on um, some other channels. I know that can be the case where they do show up with a lot of money, but most people don't walk around to a garage sale with $100. Um, unless they're specifically looking for something. And, uh, yeah. Lastly, it's just... It's, it's, again, it's not the venue. Go on Craigslist, go on eBay. I know people will say, no, I don't have an eBay account, or it's too complicated. Um, they have to be willing to make a compromise. So that's all I can say. I really, as again, I, I don't have a lot of experience with garage sales because I don't, it's hit or miss. And let's just say that. If I know in advance there's going to be video games, maybe I'll do it, but whatever. It's completely off topic. But anyways, I thought it was a very good question. I just thought I'd make this. It's probably not very quick. I'm sure it was probably really in-depth. Um, but I felt very passionate about uh, his question and about some of his, his views. He had contacted me previously about the whole Nintendo Club voucher um, situation. I, I honestly, GameStop, again, they just the employees there, some of them are very good, some of them are very helpful, but for the most part, I found out that they really honestly don't care. Um, so... If they don't care, I don't care. I don't think uh, corporate cares, so why should me or well, the consumer care if the next guy gets it or doesn't? So, sorry. As again, I say, my moral compass is completely jacked up.